Hey guys, it's your girl Leslie, and welcome to my channel. So hey guys, this video is about my normal skin routine, slash day and night skin routine. I only do this once in a while since it's been, um... A little bit since I actually went out. Um, only went out like a couple times since the weather's been so damn bad. I, I only usually do my night skincare routine now, but I do it like every day. So we, we don't need to worry too much about my skin. My skin is perfect. Not. <laughs> Look up close and you're gonna see all nightmare. But it looks good so far, um, and I've been taking good care of it. But it's a little dry since I just took a shower, um, washed my face with a cleanser not soap I see you guys out there and yeah took a shower got fresh clothes got my beautiful things pulling my hair back and everything but anyways not me blabbing and like crazy let's go straight into the video and yes this will be a little server because it's just too much for me let's get into it <laughs> Hey 
research you can do is number one I would definitely suggest to go follow subscribe and click the notification bell for this guy right here Hiram he is personally the best advice to give her um, with skincare reviews them gives great advice what good skincare you guys can use and all that I use the uh, personal skincare I use because one TikTok and two of him and there is some people that can that know about skin on TikTok that can definitely help you. That's where I got the suggestions from CeraV because personally I can't just go to Sephora right now and get the products I usually use so I had to kind of seek help and I got my help uh, with CeraVe. CeraVe personally has barely any um, fragrance. You barely smell, you, you don't even smell anything. You don't, you don't smell anything. Um, which is good because you can't put fragrance all over your face. That, that's gonna definitely mess up your skin, especially lemon. Like lemon, that ain't good for your skin either. Don't even try it. Also, over exfoliating, definitely bad. Uh, over exfoliating, that means using it more than once a week, unless like you get peely skin quite quickly. But that's probably because you don't use enough moisturizer. Um, yeah, just don't, if you have a product and it says exploiting and you use, use it every day, please stop. Your skin will get better just that one little step. Your skin will get better and will not, it will, it will stop begging for mercy. It'll be like, oh, finally they stopped. Uh, cause over exploiting, uh, exploiting is kind of peeling dead skin and at the same time making your skin act fresh and soft, but... If you continue using it every day, it'll start peeling up skin that is not dead, um, which you still need on here, miss, missies, misters, and uh, kind of makes your skin very oversensitive, and that can, can lead to a lot of fucking problems. You don't want to do that. Same thing goes for my lips. I haven't exfoliated my lips in like forever, so I exfoliate them. So, simple answer. Yeah. And I, I added some lip gloss to make them nice and pretty. Mm -hmm. 
I like them. <laughs> but again, try and do your own research first before you go crazy with money. Uh, I would personally suggest CeraVe. It goes from normal skin to dry skin. I don't know too much about oily skin, but again, go to Hiram. He can help you with that. Or you can look up uh, skincare and like on, on TikTok and the search logo, whatever, whatever, whatnot. And try and do as best research as you can. Um, don't go too crazy or overboard with it. And if you need some help personally from me and needs maybe a little bit of skincare advice, y'all know where my social media is. Don't learn. Or you can even comment and I will try my best and utmost amazing as best I can do to help. Um, all I want to do is make you guys feel better, amazing, and fresh for Valentine's Day. And, you know, for every day. Because taking care of your skin is really a great benefit for you because, number one, it can uh, make you look still young even in your 40s, 50s, or 60s. Um, yeah, you're still going to look pretty damn young. Um, and two, it kind of... You just look fabulous that way. And it's easier to apply makeup and whatnot. And it's just going to go easier. But what I really suggest, if you're a cosplayer and whatnot, please, for the love of God, buy a cleanser and a moisturizer. The two I have, um, Sarah V and the other Sarah V, please, for the love of God. If you have no other choice and you are normal to dry skin and not oily, please buy that product. You cannot cosplay without having at least a little bit of a skincare routine because you can have a lot of problems up in these skin, especially with makeup wipes. Makeup wipes, um, don't, it can remove the makeup to you, but it ain't gonna remove every single little speck of makeup on your face, which can lead to some problems. Also, makeup wipes are bad for the earth. <laughs> uh, if you're trying to kind of save the planet here, cosplayers. <laughs> Now, I'm not talking to every cause I'm talking also to the Karens, to everyone who uses makeup wipes. I only keep makeup wipes personally for small little details, and I use, only use like a rip a piece, and then I do it. I don't use the whole thing. Um, and I barely use any wipes. All I really use is a cleanser. Cleansers are one, easier to use. Two, it doesn't uh, make, it doesn't uh, pollute as much, and it's, it's just, using a nice cloth or your own hands and kind of doing this to your face softly not harshly please carefully maybe around the eyes and then doing whatever you, you put down here all over your arms cleanser also uh, cleans it very well and make sure it's fully cleaned and not half clean like a wipey so I would definitely suggest a cleanser along with a moisturizer so your skin don't look like a peely fucking potato chip please um but yeah, I'm taking great care of myself. I know I do have some cough persons, but that's not on me. We're talking about skincare here, okay? <laughs> Anyways, um, I gotta go for now, guys. Remember to try at least to start taking care of your skin, because definitely it will definitely benefit you in the future. And if you can't, I understand. But if you wanna start doing your research now and knowing what best products might be working for you in the future, you got me. <laughs> I gotta go for an aisle officially I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> GM people and happy Valentine's Day. Love you all. Bye!